Have you ever wondered what the fabric of the universe, the space-time continuum, really is? Imagine holding a piece of fabric in your hands. This fabric is not your typical cotton or silk, but a four-dimensional tapestry woven from space and time. It's a concept that's as fascinating as it is complex, and it's called the space-time continuum. The space-time continuum is a concept that combines the three dimensions of space, length, width, and height, with the fourth dimension, time, into a single interwoven continuum. This continuum forms the very fabric of our universe. Now try to visualize the universe not as separate entities of space and time, but as a single interconnected fabric. It's not easy, is it? That's because we're used to thinking of space and time as separate, distinct things. We measure space in terms of distance, miles, kilometers, light years, and time in seconds, minutes, and years. But in the space-time continuum, they're intrinsically linked. Imagine a fish swimming in a pond. To the fish, the water is just the environment it lives in. But to us, we see the water as a separate entity. Similarly, we move through the space-time continuum, living our lives, often without giving a second thought to the fabric of the universe that surrounds us. The concept of the space-time continuum challenges our everyday perception of the universe. It paints a picture of a universe where space and time are not just connected, but are aspects of the same thing. And this is not just a theoretical concept, it's a fundamental part of our understanding of the physical universe. The space-time continuum is a concept that has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It's at the heart of Einstein's theory of relativity, and it's a key ingredient in our current theories of cosmology and quantum mechanics. We're just beginning to unravel the mysteries of the universe's fabric, the space-time continuum. Our understanding of the space-time continuum began with a man and an apple. This man was Sir Isaac Newton, a 17th century physicist, mathematician, and philosopher. While sitting under an apple tree, an apple fell, sparking Newton's curiosity about why it fell straight down and not sideways or upwards. This curiosity led to the formulation of his laws of motion and universal gravitation. These laws depicted space as a stage where events occur over time. Newton's first law, also known as the law of inertia, states that an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion, unless acted on by an external force. This law presented time as a constant, unchanging entity. His second law of motion introduced the concept of force, equating it to the mass of an object multiplied by its acceleration. This connected the notion of space with the movements of objects. Then came the law of universal gravitation, which states that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. This law unified the concept of space as it implied a universal force acting across it. Together, these laws provided a framework where space and time existed as separate entities. Newton's laws formed the basis of our understanding of the universe for centuries, shaping the way we perceived motion, force, and gravity. They allowed us to predict the movements of celestial bodies with great precision, and even enabled us to send astronauts to the moon. But as groundbreaking as they were, Newton's laws painted a picture of the universe where space and time were absolute, separate entities. This understanding of space and time would serve as the foundation for centuries until a certain patent clerk in Switzerland began to question it. However, this understanding of separate space and time was soon to be challenged. Enter Albert Einstein, the man who changed the way we understand the universe. This maverick physicist, with his shock of white hair and penetrating gaze, gave us a revolutionary new understanding of the cosmos. His theory of relativity, a groundbreaking piece of scientific work, forever altered our perception of space and time. In the early 20th century, Einstein proposed a radical idea. Space and time are not separate entities, but rather, they're interwoven into a single four-dimensional fabric known as the space-time continuum. Imagine a trampoline where the fabric represents the space-time continuum, and any object placed on it, say a bowling ball, distorts the fabric creating a sort of dimple or curvature. That's what happens when a mass, like a planet or a star, sits in space-time. It distorts the fabric around it, and this curvature Einstein proposed is what we perceive as gravity. Before Einstein, the universe was seen as a fixed stage where events played out. Space and time were absolute entities, separate and unchanging. But Einstein turned this idea on its head. He suggested that space and time are dynamic, always interacting with matter and energy. They can stretch and warp, curve and ripple. 
In Einstein's universe, space and time are actors, not just the stage. This concept was revolutionary, to say the least. It was like telling someone who'd only ever thought in two dimensions that there was a third one all along. It was a shift in perspective that took some getting used to, but once it was accepted, it opened a whole new world of understanding. Black holes, gravitational waves, the Big Bang, none of these concepts would even exist without Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein's theory of relativity laid the foundation for our modern understanding of the universe's fabric. This theory, as abstract and complex as it may seem, is the bedrock of our comprehension of the cosmos. It's the lens through which we view the universe, shaping our perception of everything from the tiniest particles to the vastest galaxies. And it all began with one man's revolutionary idea. So what exactly is this fabric of the universe, the space-time continuum? Think of the universe as a vast, four-dimensional fabric. This fabric isn't just an abstract concept, it's a physical entity that can be manipulated and changed. Now let's imagine this fabric is spread out flat, it's smooth, it's even, and it's unruffled. But what happens when we place something heavy on it? The fabric bends, it dips, it warps. That's the space-time continuum for you. It's the fabric of the universe and it's being bent and warped by mass and energy. The heavier the object, the greater the warping. And this warping, this bending, this distortion, it's not just happening in an abstract theoretical space. It's happening right here, right now, all around us. It's happening in the space that you occupy, in the time that you experience. And this bending and warping of the fabric of the universe, it has a profound effect. It changes the way we move, the way we experience the world. Because when space and time warp, they create a kind of force that pulls objects towards each other. And this force, this pull, this attraction, we have a name for it. We call it gravity. That's right. What we perceive is gravity, that thing that keeps us rooted to the ground, that force that pulls an apple from a tree, it's actually the result of the warping of the space-time continuum. It's the bending of the universe's fabric caused by mass and energy. The concept is overwhelming, isn't it? The idea that the universe is like a fabric that it can bend and warp, that it can create a force as familiar and as fundamental as gravity, it's a testament to the incredible complexity and beauty of the universe. In other words, gravity is the curving of the space-time continuum by mass and energy. But what does it mean for time and space to be interconnected? Well, let's dive into two fascinating phenomena that occur due to this interconnection. Time dilation and length contraction. Imagine you're on a spaceship traveling close to the speed of light. Now, to an observer on Earth, your clock seems to tick slower than theirs. This is not because your clock is faulty, but due to a phenomenon known as time dilation. The faster you move through space, the slower you move through time. So, in a sense, you would age slower than your twin left behind on Earth. Now let's talk about length contraction. Imagine you're holding a meter stick while traveling on the same spaceship. An observer on Earth would see your meter stick shortened, almost as if it's being squished in the direction of motion. But to you, inside the spaceship, the meter stick appears perfectly normal. This is length contraction, the idea that the length of an object in motion decreases from the viewpoint of a stationary observer. These phenomena might sound like they're straight out of a science fiction novel, but they are indeed very real and have been confirmed through numerous experiments and observations. For instance, GPS satellites must correct for time dilation because the clocks on the satellites tick faster than the ones on Earth due to their high speed. The beauty of these concepts is that they emerge from the simple yet profound idea that the speed of light is constant for all observers, a cornerstone of Einstein's theory of relativity. So the interconnectedness of space and time isn't just a whimsical idea. It has tangible consequences that manifest in the form of time dilation and length contraction. So the space-time continuum isn't just a concept, it's a reality that we experience. How does the space-time continuum affect you in your daily life? Let's start with something you probably use every day, your smartphone. More specifically, the Global Positioning System, or GPS, that helps you navigate. GPS satellites constantly send signals to your phone, indicating their location and the exact time the signal was sent. Your phone then calculates how long it took for the signals to arrive and uses this information to figure out your location on Earth. However, these satellites are moving at high speeds and are far from the Earth's surface which means they experience time differently due to the effects of the space-time continuum. In fact, if we didn't take into account the principles of relativity, which explain how space and time are woven together, your GPS would be off by several kilometers. Now let's turn to something a little more personal, aging. 
We all know we age as time goes by, but did you know that the speed at which we age can be influenced by the space-time continuum? It's a concept called time dilation. The faster you move, the slower time passes for you, compared to someone who is stationary. This effect is minute at the speeds we experience in our daily lives, but it becomes significant at near light speeds. So, if you were to travel at such speeds, you would age slower than your friends back on Earth. This is not science fiction, but a consequence of the fabric of the universe, as proposed by Einstein's theory of relativity. In these ways, and many more we don't even realize, the space-time continuum impacts our everyday lives. From the functioning of our technology to the ticking of our biological clocks, it's all influenced by the intricate dance of space and time. Understanding this fundamental aspect of the universe not only helps us make sense of the world around us, but also allows us to marvel at the beauty and complexity of the cosmos. Even though we may not realize it, we're all living in the space-time continuum. Despite our understanding, there are still many mysteries left to solve. Our knowledge of the space-time continuum, though advancing, is still shrouded with enigmas. The universe, vast and unyielding, has kept some of its secrets well hidden. One such mystery lies in the concept of wormholes. Theoretical shortcuts through space and time wormholes have been the stuff of science fiction for generations. Yet despite our fascination, they remain an unproven theory. Could there exist a cosmic subway system connecting distant points in the universe? Could we one day traverse galaxies in the blink of an eye? The answers to these questions are yet to be found, leaving wormholes as an intriguing yet unresolved piece of the space-time puzzle. Now, let's shift our gaze from these cosmic shortcuts to the enigmatic phenomena of dark matter and dark energy. These invisible entities, making up a whopping 95% of the universe, have stumped scientists for decades. Dark matter, with its gravity, helps to bind galaxies together. Yet it slips through our detection, revealing itself only through its gravitational effects. Dark energy, even more elusive, works in contrast to gravity, driving the accelerating expansion of the universe. But their exact nature? Still a mystery. Both dark matter and dark energy have profound implications for the space-time continuum. They shape the universe, wrap the fabric of space-time, yet we can't see them or directly detect them. Their existence is inferred from the effects they have on visible matter, on light, and on the structure of the universe itself. Our understanding of the universe is always evolving. Each discovery peels back a layer of the cosmic onion, revealing yet more layers beneath. As we continue our journey of exploration, we must remember that the true beauty of science lies not just in the answers we find but also in the mysteries we uncover along the way. Who knows what discoveries lie ahead in our journey to understand the universe's fabric? The journey is just as important as the destination. As we continue to explore the universe, our understanding of the space-time continuum will only grow. We stand on the brink of a new era, where we are no longer confined to our planet but are spreading our wings, reaching out into the cosmos. We are the pioneers, the explorers, the seekers of knowledge, and it is our quest to unravel the secrets of the universe. Every day, scientists around the world are pushing the boundaries of our understanding. Modern technologies are being developed from powerful telescopes that can peer into the farthest reaches of the universe to sophisticated instruments that can measure the tiniest fluctuations in the fabric of space-time itself. Each new discovery adds another piece to the puzzle, giving us a more complete picture of our place in the cosmos. But the journey is far from over. There is much more to learn, to discover, to understand. The universe is a vast, complex tapestry and we have only just begun to scratch the surface. There are still countless mysteries to solve, from the nature of dark matter and dark energy to the possibility of parallel universes and other dimensions. Each new revelation brings with it a host of new questions, and it is our insatiable curiosity that will drive us forward. We are living in an exciting time, a time of discovery and exploration, a time when our understanding of the universe is expanding at an unprecedented rate. But we must never lose sight of the importance of asking questions, of seeking answers, of striving to understand the world around us. For it is through this process of questioning and learning that we grow, not just as individuals, but as a species. So, let's keep pushing the boundaries. Let's keep questioning, keep learning, keep exploring. Let's continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe one question at a time. For the universe is not just a vast expanse of space and time, it's also a journey. A journey of discovery of understanding, of knowledge. Remember, the universe is not just out there, it's also within us.
Before we conclude, let's quickly summarize what we've learned about the space-time continuum. This fascinating concept born out of the brilliance of Albert Einstein is the very fabric that binds our universe. It's a four-dimensional model combining the three dimensions of space with the one dimension of time. We journeyed from the birth of space-time through the revolutionary ideas of Einstein. We delved into the concepts of time dilation and length contraction, the strange phenomena that occur at speeds close to light. We then explored how this fabric of the universe impacts us, from the microcosmic particles to the macrocosmic celestial bodies. The space-time continuum is a crucial aspect of our understanding of the universe. It's a foundation upon which modern physics is built, a cornerstone of cosmology, and a key player in the cosmic drama of our universe. It's not just an abstract concept, but a tangible reality that affects everything from the motion of planets to the ticking of our clocks. But as with any scientific endeavor, there are unresolved mysteries. The space-time continuum presents challenges that scientists are still grappling with. The reconciliation of quantum mechanics and general relativity, the enigma of dark matter and dark energy, and the nature of black holes, these are some of the puzzles that remain. Yet, these challenges don't diminish the importance of the space-time continuum, if anything they heighten it. They remind us that there's still so much to discover, so much to learn. The journey ahead is filled with potential breakthroughs and mind-bending revelations. This journey, however, isn't just for the scientists in their labs, it's for all of us. Every time we look at a clock or gaze at the stars, we're interacting with the space-time continuum. We're part of this grand cosmic tapestry woven from the threads of space and time. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember you're looking at the fabric of the universe, the space-time continuum.